Hey everyone, welcome in, Echo Hack here, and today we're gonna look at the capstone dungeons for Diablo 4. So the first one, we're already there, is the Cathedral of Light here. So uh, you'll, you'll be able to access this in tier two after you finish the campaign. And uh, what's really interesting about this dungeon here is that it is level 50 no matter what. So probably your experience as you go through the game is that everything is very much catered to your level. Uh, so, you know, as you level up, the monsters level up and so on. But that's not the case here. This is level 50. So if you finish the campaign or you finish the game um, dramatically under leveled, uh, like let's say you're level 40 or so, then you might have some trouble with uh, this dungeon here. So first, uh, we have a, uh, a dungeon mechanic that you're probably familiar with at this point, uh, if you've gone through the game. Uh, we need to collect animus from these knights. So we're just gonna walk through here and just kind of one-shot everything. I'm, I'm a bit over level uh, right now when it comes to this, so. Uh, certainly, if you're under level, these monsters are way, way harder, uh, way more difficult, uh, especially if you're under level. And and definitely, um, one of the things that I think most most uh, really, you know, like try hard players are going to want to do is do this under level, because it actually lands you in the higher difficulty with the better loot uh, much faster. So. Being able to access Nightmare difficulty early is actually a big boon. So if you can manage to do this dungeon early, then you're you're going to be in really good shape for being able to progress the end game. Now, if you're a hardcore character, on the other hand, you might have a little bit more trouble. Uh, me personally, I'm actually going to be playing hardcore at launch, which is. Uh, Maybe a little crazy, but uh, yeah, I, I'm more of a hardcore kind of SSF style player. Um, and so I really enjoy that way of playing the game. Uh, so when it comes to this dungeon and the, uh, the second capstone dungeon, which uh, we'll jump to after this one is complete, I think the way that I'm gonna approach that is just uh, over level it quite a bit because the, the bosses and the monsters in there can actually be quite dangerous. Um, and you know, safety is safety's pretty important. Um, now what's really, what's really funny is the first time, uh, as I was playing through this the first time uh, during the review cycle here, uh, I actually encountered the Butcher in here. So um, the Butcher can, can spawn in any dungeon, <laughs> any ca even capstone dungeons. Uh, so you're gonna, he's, he's everywhere. He's, he's all over the place. Another cool thing about this dungeon is it's actually a two dungeon dungeon. Uh, so we're gonna come here to this boss, travel to the high council court is the objective you're seeing on the right side of the screen there. And, uh, we'll, we'll have our, we'll, we'll have our first boss here. I also just really thematically like what's going on in the cathedral here. So we, we encountered these, uh, I guess you want to call them knights, the knight monster family. And then all of a sudden there's skeletons all of a sudden you're like, uh, maybe these guys aren't, these guys aren't the good guys. Kind of like, kind of like how the dungeon does a little bit of storytelling there, even though this really doesn't have anything to do with the campaign at this point. It's kind of its own. It's kind of its own uh, continuity. All right, so we clean those guys out. Um, even if you do this under level, I don't think they're too too difficult. Uh, so I don't think you'll have too too much problem with that boss. It's the second boss here that you'll probably have some trouble with. Uh, he has several big one-shotty style mechanics that you'll want to have some sort of invulnerability or uh, really, really good dodging to uh, take care of. Now, one thing that's kind of annoying here is this uh, 
This is one of those kill all enemies, slay all enemies dungeons. So we're kind of we're kind of hoofing it, especially as a necromancer here, man. We, we we have no movement speed, so it's all it's all walk at the slowest speed humanly possible and you know hope for the best kind of thing. Okay, so this guy, he can be pretty dangerous, uh, but he's active early, so you want to attack him really quickly. Um, or maybe not. Uh, did he just heal all that health? I think I just learned something while narrating this video. I've only fought him, like, twice, so... I don't... Yeah, I don't think, uh... I don't think maybe that's the mechanic. I think maybe the mechanic... I think the mechanic is, uh... Or the play in this case, is to, um, is to maybe save your resources for when his health bar goes full. Hmm. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to rewatch this recording to, to check out what really happened there. Actually, kind of interesting. So you need to go here, Fate's Retreat, which you should have this unlocked, but then you have to go through here, all the way through this kind of windy canyon mess to uh, the Kiln of the Primes. And then once you get there, this place is cursed. Uh, once you get there, you'll uh, be able to go through the dungeon here. Now, you get a choice of which uh, side you want to do first. You have to do both sides, so it doesn't matter which one you do first. For, for some reason, I just, I'm inclined to do the left side first. I don't know why, but uh, me personally, I'm, I'm a, I'm a left side guy. Now, I'm level 65, and this is a level 70 um, area. So, I'm still technically uh, under-leveled for this area. But actually, I was able to complete this on softcore at level 58. So, uh, I'm kind of raffle stomping through it right now. But I took it very carefully, I took it very seriously. And at level 58, I was able to complete it. So certainly you can do this uh, while you're underleveled. Uh, you just need to be extremely, extremely careful. Um, and uh, and yeah, you'll be able to do it. Now, of course, on hardcore, I did I did die on the boss a number of times, right? Like the boss is, at level 58, the boss is really difficult. Not impossible, especially for a skilled player. Um, or someone who's done it a whole bunch of times and really knows the fight and the mechanics, which I really, I really like that. Um, but definitely on my first playthrough, you know, even even at a thousand hours of playtime, um, I don't feel super comfortable probably doing this under level. So I'll probably over level to do this uh, this key, this dungeon before going into. Uh, going into tier 4. And also, once you get to tier 4, everything is level 70 to 73 anyway. Even the lowest Nightmare Dungeon in tier 4 is level 75. So, uh, being over level is, like, not going to, like, really harm you very much. Um, you know, when you get to... When you get to tier 4, especially for hardcore players, right? If you're... Um, if you're a uh, softcore player, on the other hand, um, you can even get a friend to kind of like rush you through these capstone dungeons. That's probably something I should have mentioned a little earlier. So you can um, you can get to tier four quite early, uh, which is which is pretty interesting. I wonder if they'll they'll limit that somehow uh, for the season because it feels uh, at least to me it feels a little weird to have a uh, like a new character, like a level, let's say, 20 character that someone just made, and then rush them, rush, rush them through this, and then throw, uh, start throwing like tier four equipment on them. That feels feels a little wrong to me. We'll see. We'll see uh, if that gets cleaned up for the seasons and that sort of thing. Obviously, right now, um, and at launch. There really isn't like a competitive aspect to the game yet. I know I, as a streamer, I I, I will be like 
extraterritorially competitive. You know what I mean? Like, inventing competition when there is none. You know, like, first necromancer in the world to clear the nightmare, the, 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 the hardcore SSF, the, the, the. You know, it, this is the kind of thing we do in Diablo 3. Uh, today is uh, the, the game. The game has been, you know, so power creeped over the years that we just uh, we just tri tri trivialize all the challenges and um, kind of make our own uh, up. And uh, the community is really great for that. So, yeah, we'll we'll probably have that at launch. But I think the real competition stuff will uh, will come later. Um, not even with season one, probably uh, later stuff like leaderboards and uh, conquests and that kind of thing is probably uh, much later down the road, in my opinion. I think, based on based on what we've heard from the devs. All right, so we need to clear out this idol real quick. Hopefully, not die in the process. Yeah, it's still even at level sixty-five. Like, I'm kind of narrating this, not really paying too close attention, but, um, you know, I'm hitting my potion button. Like, this isn't, this isn't nothing. There's, there's stuff going on. This shaman is being annoying, right? Like, this isn't a complete walk in the park. Let's see if I can pick this up. All right, let's get out of here. Uh, the, uh, the boss is actually really fun. Uh, I think I died to him six times. I fought him with DM, uh, and uh, me and DM made, I think it was like about six attempts to kill him. And what was really notable about the fight was that it was more of a, uh, more of a survivability check. Like I had the damage to, to kill him. It was just a, it was just a survivability check. It was more, uh, more just making sure you had enough armor and that sort of thing. Now these animus carriers, uh, they're uh, they're beefy boys, so you got to be careful with these guys. Um, I also just kind of recklessly ran through all those enemies, so we're gonna have to clear some of those guys out. But we'll get back to the animus carrier here in a second. I actually really like. Oh, he. Diagroed and did a full heal. That, oh, that's not awesome. I actually really like uh, Animus Carrier uh, objectives quite a lot. Um, I think that, I think it's a good objective design. As long as you can find them quickly and, and shoot them down, you can uh, you can progress the dungeon relatively quickly. Just as long as you have enough DPS. So I really I really like that. Oh my gosh! Yeah. Like I was saying, they're beefy boys, right? So like you can see, as level sixty-five on hardcore, that that attack like kind of came out of nowhere, right? So as level sixty-five on hardcore, you might you might be in for a world of hurt. Uh, oh, those the those demons here, this 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 guy here, the Crusher. He has this uh, pull, his this this like chain pull attack that you really want to avoid. Um, that can one-shot you, too, if you're not careful. So if you see yeah, that right there, you see where he th threw, the, threw the maul with the chain? That is super dangerous. You want to avoid that. Uh, okay, wow. Let's not get hit by that, please. I gotta get serious here for a moment because these guys are nasty, these animus carriers. Man, I'm glad I discovered that these are, uh, these guys are so dangerous. That seems like an extreme amount. Oh, so you don't have to kill all of them. I wonder if that's a bug. Are they supposed to drop that many? And we can go to Torment. So there it is, tier four is unlocked. Hey everyone, I want to thank you for watching this video. If you really liked what you saw here, then head down below and hit a like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.